Hello everyone and welcome to another Pathfinder Adventure Card Game Scenario. This is the first scenario for the campaign. I'm running with the character Damiel. So this is scenario A1. We're over at the Pleasure Barge. We're at this location. When you fail to acquire an ally, you are dealt 1d4 poison damage. Alright, pretty excited to start this campaign off. Advancing the Blessings deck. It's a Blessing of Bastet. And our first exploration is a porcupine. So the porcupine is Wisdom Survival 7. Uh, Damiel only has a Wisdom of D6. So let's look at his hand here. This is going to be an auto fail for uh, Damiel. So we'll go ahead and roll the check anyway. So it's a 1. He fails his check. It says when you fail to acquire an ally, you are dealt 1d4 poison damage. So let's go ahead and do that. Roll on the D4. So we rolled a three. So the porcupine is banished, but we take three points of poison damage. So looking at our hand, we don't have anything that will prevent poison damage. So what we're gonna have to do is, hmm. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lose this armored kilt. We're going to lose, hmm. We'll lose, shucks, a lot of good stuff here. We're going to lose a blowgun and an acid flask. So we take that as damage. What's going to happen now is that, um, unfortunately, since we did not reduce that damage, uh, we gain the Curse of Poisoning. So Damiel, starting strong, getting a Curse of Poisoning. He will reset his hand. So then after he resets his hand, he will have to recharge a random card due to Curse of Poisoning. So we're rolling a D6 there. We rolled a six, so we're rolling over. So the third card, we'll have to recharge this Tussa Silk Cloak. And now it's on to the next turn. Advancing the Blessings deck, it's a Blessing of Ra. And we get another porcupine. Wow, this pleasure barge is filled with porcupines. Once again, that is an auto fail. So the boon gets banished, but it says here we have to take 1d4 poison damage. So rolling. The d4, it got stuck in my dice tower. So rolling the d4 again, we roll the two. So Damiel has to take two points of poison damage. Uh, he will lose uh, his ally and the flash freeze. So having done that, he will now recharge his hand. And due to curse of poisoning, or I'm sorry, yeah, the curse of poisoning. He has to recharge one of his cards, so he recharges, unfortunately, a torch. Could have been handy. All right, so where we're at now, it's our third exploration. We get a Blessing of Nephis doing our exploration. We get a Blessing of the Ancients. So it is a Divine 3 check. Uh, Damiel does not have the Divine um, skill, so it's a straight-up D4 check. He rolls a four, and fortunately, he gets this blessing. So it says here, discard this card to examine the top card of your location deck. Then you may explore your location. Okay, Damiel is going to do that. He will examine this card. Okay, he examines it. Now he can, if he chooses, he may explore. So let's see, Charisma Diplomacy check. Uh, Damiel has a Charisma of D4. He'll go ahead and do it, but this time he has a Blessing of the Elements. So he will go ahead and discard the Blessing of the Elements. And Damiel's going to roll 2D4 on this check. And he's going to hope to roll a 5 or higher. So I rolled a 2. A die fell on the floor, and I rolled a 4. So 4, 5, 6. Well, that's pretty awesome. So thanks to the Blessing of the Elements, uh, Damiel is able to acquire this ally. So then it says here, discard this card to explore your location, and we will do so because we're tired of dealing with that Curse of Poisoning. Okay, we get this uh, spell, the Acute Senses, Intelligence, Arcane, Wisdom, Divine 4. Uh, Damiel has an Intelligence die of D10, so that's looking promising. 
Let's see if he has anything else going for him. Arcane, he does not have the arcane trait. Wisdom is just a d6. Divine is non-existent. So it's just going to be an intelligence d10 check. All right, and he rolls a 2. So unfortunately, he perhaps found a scroll, was not able to decipher that, but at least he doesn't take any poison damage. So, let's see. You know what he's going to do? Well, he's not. He's just going to go ahead and recharge his hand. And due to Curse of Poisoning, has to roll to see which card he recharges. Roll the 6. He's going to re-roll that. Roll the 2. So he has to recharge an Acid Flask from his hand. Alright. Let's go ahead and advance the Blessings deck. It's a Blessing of Nephis. We will explore. Okay, we get another Blessing of the Ancients. It's just a D4 check. So we're rolling a D4. All right, uh, Daniel rolled a four. So he did acquire this Blessing of the Ancients. And we'll go ahead and do that. We'll uh, discard it, examine the top card of the location deck, and then perhaps explore. So we are examining. Okay, it's a Shock Lizard. This one is a Wisdom Survival four check. So we will go ahead and explore. So, uh, Damiel's Wisdom is a D6. Um, it has the Electricity trait. So we can use a Blessing of the Elements, and since it has the Electricity trait, we can recharge that card. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So we're going to recharge that card. So we're rolling 2D6, trying to roll a 4. And we do. Alright, so Damiel is able to acquire the Shock Lizard. And you know what? It says here, hmm... Discard this, uh, recharge this card to add 1d4 and the electricity trait to your combat check. He might need that. So he'll go ahead and keep that. We are going to... Then we're going to go ahead and use this blade guard. It says, banish this card to allow a character at your location to draw a weapon or armor from her discard pile. And since Daniel is an alchemist, it says here, when you would banish a card that has the alchemical trait, you may discard it instead. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to discard the blade guard. We're going to look at his discard pile, which is actually uh, has quite a lot. And we're going to go ahead and we'll get his blowgun back. And so now looking at his hand, draw, or, uh, Daniel really likes his hand. He doesn't really want to deal with that curse of poisoning, but he'll have to. We are going to reset the hand. We are now rolling for Curse of Poison, unfortunately. We rolled a 2, so yeah, shucks. We recharged the Blessing of the Elements. We were hoping to keep that card, but it gets recharged instead. We will advance the Blessings deck. It's a Blessing of Nephis. We will explore. All right, we get Pard. So we have a Wisdom Survival 7 check or a Charisma Diplomacy 10, and it's an animal. Well, unfortunately, Drum doesn't have, or Drum. I keep calling him Drum because I just finished my Drum campaign. Now I'm starting my Damiel campaign. This man's name is Damiel. All right. So unfortunately, it's going to be Wisdom Survival 7. Uh, Damiel, his wisdom is just a D6. He doesn't have any blessings. Uh, wisdom Survival, looking at his hand here. Nope. Unfortunately, it's going to be an auto fail. So Pard runs away. And Damiel is going to take some damage. So, and look at that. He takes four points of damage. Ouch. He loses everything. All right, this is getting pretty treacherous. Resetting his hand. Okay, all right. So, he's doing all right. But still got to roll for Curse of Poisoning. So, roll the three. So, unfortunately, we have to recharge the Torch. I was kind of hoping to keep that card. All right. We are going to advance the Blessings deck. It's a Blessing of the Ancients. We're going to explore. All right, and we get the villain. So the villain is Valeriana uh, Hypaxes, I believe. So it says, before you act, succeed at a Wisdom or Perception 9 check, or the difficulty to defeat is increased by 3. Well, Damiel only has a Wisdom. He does not have Perception. And his wisdom is just a D6. So I guess what we'll do is we'll go ahead and use a Blessing of the Ancients. It's a human wizard aristocrat, so no benefit with Blessing of the Ancients. We have to toss that. And 
what we're going to do. Well, you know what? We're not going to do that. Because we only have two cards left in our deck. And we have to make sure we survive this scenario. So it's going to be an auto-fail. And the difficulty to increase is going to be actually plus three. So then what we have here is we have an acid flask for your combat check. Uh, banish this card to use your disable or range scale plus 2d6. Okay, so that's our best bet. So we can use our disable or ranged skill. Well, oh well, how about that? So he can use his disable or ranged skill. Well, Daniel, this is a combat check. He can use his disable, which is d10 plus 1, or he can use his ranged, which is d10 plus 2. Okay, so we will just go ahead and do the ranged check. So we're going to discard that card. We're going to then use the ranged, which is that, and we're going to go ahead and use 2d6. Uh, and unfortunately, that's all we can do, because we have some blessings, but if we use them, we're not going to be able to draw up to our hand size, and we will lose this adventure. So as it is, uh, uh, Damiel is using his range skill, plus 2d6, and the buff is plus 2. So after roll a 16 on these dice, so we're adding 2 to this roll. Let's see what we get. All right, we get a 5, and a 6 is 11, and a 3. So we get 11, 12, 13, 14, plus 2, 15, 16. So, whew, right on the dot. Well, how about that? We were able to defeat the villain, which means that the scenario or the location is closed. Wow, that was exciting. We still have to reset our hand and we are able to. We picked our last card, which was a torch and another blessing and technical difficulties here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do the deck check here. Wow, that was a really thrilling adventure. I don't have to do with the curse of poison anymore. Let's go ahead and look at uh, Damiel's deck. So he does, uh, just starting with the basic deck here, this is what he gets. Those are his blessings. This is his armor. He gets a torch weapon right here. Let's take a look. Of course, as an alchemist, he gets a lot of items. He has a blowgun. He acquired the shock lizard, so I think he's going to be keeping the shock lizard. Uh, he gets uh, all these cool items. He did acquire uh, a, a new ally and uh, a new blessing here. So, pretty cool. He did acquire, he did get some cool loot. So, he's definitely, uh, Damiel is definitely going to get some go to a trader. So, the reward for this scenario was simply unlocking the trader's Falsine Deke and Hayden Hopper. And, of course, since Damiel has absolutely no spells, he will never be going to Hayden Hopper. So it's a matter of going to Falsing Deke and seeing what Falsing Deke has to offer. So shuffling up our stack of items. So it's fairly big. This is just the basic campaign. And what we're doing is going to roll a D30. So he's offering the fourth item. One, two, three, four. He's offering that item. And one, two, three, four. That item. All right, so Falsing Deke says, look, Damiel. I got a noxious bomb for you and a frost staff. Let's go ahead and zoom in there. Because that frost staff looks interesting, but it says here, for your combat check, recharge this card and discard a spell. Okay, well obviously he will never use that. But of course the noxious bomb is exactly what Damiel wants. So the question is, is these are his starting items. The acid flask, a fr flash freeze, Blade Guard, Noxious Bomb, and another Acid Flask. So I'm thinking that he could toss the Flash Freeze, uh, banish this card, and add 1d12 and the Cold Trait to a check that invokes the Construct or Fire Trait. So I think we're going to go ahead and trade him the Flash Freeze. The Blade Guard is interesting. I mean, he used it this scenario to get himself a weapon, which is pretty cool. So we're going to give uh, Hayden Hopper or is it, it's Falsine Deke. We're going to trade Falsine Deke a uh, Flash Freeze, and we'll go ahead and trade him a Blessing of the Ancients for the Noxious Bomb. 
Okay, we're going to then uh, say goodbye to Falsi and Deke. And what we will do is we will then go ahead and technical difficulties here. We'll go ahead and uh, reset uh, Damiel's hand, or his uh, deck rather, so that it's legit. He'll probably have to toss an ally or two, and perhaps, I'm pretty sure he's going to get rid of that Blessing of the Ancients. I don't think he wants it. So I'll let you know what his deck looks like at the start of the next adventure. And that's it for now. I'll have another adventure up soon. Uh, really cool first adventure. Pretty uh, a nail biter there. So I like the challenge so far. We'll see how the campaign goes. All right. Thanks for watching.